and I did this. Yo, check this out. This is Pete Rock. I'm chilling, watching Future Music Magazine. You know what I'm saying? I'm just showing people how I get down with the MPC. Show you little things. You know what I mean? I chop the record like each piece like that. Boom, boom, boom. How I do it is, you know, like I sometimes I'll start out with the beat first. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll um, have someone come in, spit on it, like you know, on some vocals or whatever. And then I arrange the the, the music around what he uh, he or she is saying and um, make it more exciting. Like short and to the point is much better, you know, because people. When, when, when it's already over, they want to hear it again. When I do the beat, I can speed it up. Still play the same. And the record is much slower. You know? And that's basically it. It's, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. You know, when you're making a song, you know, uh, me, I have a lot of knowledge of music and stuff and records. I grew up. My father was teaching me about songs and arrangements, and so I, and it stuck with me, you know, until I started doing this, and then I applied it to to what I do. The song um, at my disposal, I, I listen to it, and it's like wherever I, I hear it sounds the best part in the record, I'll take it, you know, and I'll, you know, if I'm really feeling it, I'll really chop it into little, 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 little pieces, you know what I'm saying, so I could do what I want with it, you know, and um. That's that's how I do my music, and basically, you know, it's an advantage for me because I can, you know, with the sample, no matter what tempo it is, I can speed it up, slow it down without doing it here. I can do, you know, use the actual beats per minute. But there's several ways to to do it. I have that's just one method. You know what I'm saying? Where my mind is sometimes is is a little out there. You know, I like to be that way when I'm making music. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just go to another place where, where people, other people don't go. Like, say for instance, they have these now that do um, stretching, you know what I'm saying? But I do it the manual way. But it's easier to do it manually with this drum machine than with the SP, you know what I'm saying? This is just such a comfortable drum machine. I can sit here all day and chop up records and not be tired, you know what I'm saying? And just, oh wow, you know, the soft pads and everything. And I take kicks and snares from records. I don't. I don't usually use library stuff. You know, for me, you you can't find certain snares in the library. You know, some things you just hear on the record. You're like, whoa. I'll take a bar, uh, a drum loop that's two bars, even a half of, not even. Uh, I'll take something that's a quarter of a bar, like like a kick and a snare that goes boom back. But there's there's enough air between it. It sounds like it's just played together. And that and that's how I do it. I, like I'll have a, a slew of drums. And then I'll have a slew of samples, and then I'll just put them all together and see what sounds best with what. I listen to a lot of bands, like I listen to rock, I listen to soul. For me, it started for me being I started out being a DJ first, and I you know perfected that craft. And then I was curious to know the background of producing because I was hearing a lot of dope hip hop in the '80s, and I wanted to know who was the man behind the music. I started out really really young. And, um, you know, I, I, my first big record was um, when I was 17. I put out, I got signed to Electra Records and, and um, put out an EP and put out like three albums after that. Hi hat, a kick, kick from a record, another kick where it's like right before the big kick, you know how, wait. You know what I mean? Swing it. Right. You know what that is, right? Yeah. Snare, kick, a hand clap, and this is the guitar. I just took that and built a bass line behind it. Love is a battle game. 
Yeah, I took it because I had a bass in there. And it, you know. And then, then I can still play. Sounds like a record. Check it out, it's Pete Rock, Future Music Magazine. And I'm gonna take you out on a blast, something I did with Pat Benatar. You know what I'm saying? Love is a battlefield. Peace of love, Pete Rock, get my new album coming out real soon.